I got some new glasses. Welcome to Life in My Shoes Reviews and Such. Thanks for coming back this week for my review of glasses. Um, more about that in just a moment. But uh, I have temporarily relocated the Life in My Shoes studio mm -hmm, to uh, a different location in the house while the basement project is in progress. The basement slash Life in My Shoes studio <coughs> is being renovated. Also, what you'll notice is I got a new office chair. Uh, happy Father's Day to me early. Uh, with this whole work from home environment, uh, I needed to invest in something that was a little more comfortable since I was going to be spending likely much more time working from home. So all that to say that I recently, within the last 30 days or so, ordered, uh, yeah, I think exactly 30 days. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I ordered the glasses on uh, May 12th. Uh, right around there and they just arrived this past Friday which was June 12th so uh, and I wanted to do a review so I have mentioned in the past that I have an affinity for two things in life one of those is shoes of which the channel derives its name the second is glasses so about uh, 10 12 years ago um, I had a uh, discovery so I had a very nice pair of rimless polo glasses. I had very expensive taste in glasses. And those glasses, um, I had just, uh, under the kind of the warranty of the glasses, just replaced the lenses um, just before the two year mark of having those frames. And then the glasses broke right down the middle. The bridge broke right in the middle. And I went to my optometrist and I said to them, um, hey, I just got these new lenses. Would like to replace the frames. <coughs> Expecting it to be uh, rather inexpensive uh, to replace the frames. How much would it cost for me to replace the frames? My optometrist at that point, uh, they said, oh, that would be about $250. And, and I was like, that is just the frames and they're minimal frames at that because they were rimless. Uh, so I had happened to be at the time uh, highly engaged in Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University, um, a big promo for that, um, but also listening occasionally on the radio to Clark Howard which is an Atlanta, a local Atlanta personality that does some of the same stuff, really is an advocate for you getting a hold of your finances and uh, taking charge of those. Um, specifically, Clark Howard had, at that time, had promoted a company called Zenny Optical, uh, which was an online uh, eyeglass company. And my first pair of glasses I ordered uh, were lenses and frames were $56. Now that is expensive compared to what I normally spend now, ironically. Um, but from that point on, I have purchased my glasses online. Uh, additionally, uh, I have, because they are so expensive, uh, some of these companies have glasses as low as like $6.99. Uh, $6.99 that is, that you can get glasses cheaply. So the, the net cheapest pair of glasses I ever got, and these were Zenny's back in the day, um, were $18 and that was the frames and lenses. Now, obviously, as I've gotten older, I have uh, my uh, prescription has become a little bit stronger. I have the need for uh, bifocals um, and I've just made an investment in I'm going to get a higher quality of materials and a little more protection for these materials. Uh, for example, the coatings, etc. So I have uh, spent several years ordering from Zenny, got really uh, decent deals from those. A friend had uh, hooked me on a company called Goggles For You, and uh, they are by far the cheapest company that I've uh, found. Their selection is decent. Um, they're not the most innovative. Um, but like I've been really happy with all the frames that I've gotten from them. Uh, there's a company called Z-E-E-L-O-O-L, Z -E -E -L -O -O -L, I think, or L-O-L, um, that has some very 
interesting and innovative uh, designs. Uh, they uh, don't have a lot in my size, so there's not a lot of selection. Some of the ones I really like also aren't compatible with uh, progressive bifocals. So all that to say that back in May, I ordered four pair of glasses from uh, Goggles For You. So number ones you see right here, uh, I am wearing. These are what I knew at the time I ordered them would be probably the go-to glasses of the lot of glasses that I ordered. I usually am like that. I usually have a single pair of glasses that are my go-to. Um, you see probably in a lot of my videos, I have a black round pair. Those are my go-to, those are uh, goggles for you uh, glasses. I have those in a brown and a, a black, the round ones. Those are my go-tos uh, before these arrived. Of these new ones, I knew that this pair here would be probably my new go-to. So this is my default pair of glasses that I will probably wear the majority of the time. Um, <clears throat> so I'll put all the, uh, the kind of the, um, the nomenclature for ordering these glasses on Goggles For You. I'll put a link to Goggles For You and kind of the name and the number for ordering each of these. What I will say is here's uh, some standards across the board. All of these glasses are progressives, which means they are bifocals without a line. The three pair that are regular glasses I got, it has a uh, what's called a blue cut protection, um, which is a for usage with a computer screen. So you're seeing a reflection right now from my computer screen screen that has some of my notes that I'm able to refer to. Um, they are <coughs> designed to kind of protect the eyes from uh, excessive computer usage. I am in IT, so I do uh, sit in front of a computer most days for the majority of the day. They also all have, um, with uh, again, all of the regular glasses also have the premium coatings. One pair of glasses was ordered specifically as a pair of sunglasses. So they have the um, darkest uh, tint. Uh, they have the progressive uh, bifocal. They have some of the premium coatings, but do not have the blue cut uh, because they're, they're primarily sunglasses. So uh, with that, here is the first pair. Again, the descriptions will be down below. These are my go-to. These are a half rim um, and come in a black. I think they, I don't know if they came in other colors. I don't remember. You can check the uh, on Goggles for Use website. You can check there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off the other pairs and then uh, we could talk about the overall experience. Here we are with pair number two. Now, uh, I kind of knew these, I would like these. Um, <clears throat> and uh, these will be kind of called my seconds. So of this lot of glasses, this will be the pair that is kind of my, my second um, runner up. Now, overall, these may not fall into that scheme of things, but uh, I do like this design and I will be wearing these. I'll give these a good uh, bit of time, um, but uh, they are a full rim, uh, plastic rim with uh, metal arms and uh, plastic around the back. Um, the first pair was plastic. Uh, and did you know the nice thing I like about these um, actually uh, three of the four pair of glasses is I like the built-in nose I don't like where they have the separate nose so I'm often will default to something that is more uh, has the plastic uh, built-in uh, nose so again these were black these were half uh, lens they were plastic um, these are plastic and metal. You can see the bridge is metal, plastic around here, metal uh, on the uh, arms as well, and back around the back. Um, <coughs> again, have the blue blocker, have the progressives, which is the bifocal without uh, the line. So these were the number two. I really like these as well, and these will get a good bit of wear. Uh, now on to the third pair. These are the third pair. So these um, are a little bit uh, more muted compared to the others. And I kind of knew that these would probably not be uh, my go-tos, my defaults. Um, these are a lot more tame. I'm usually a little more uh, adventurous with my glasses. <coughs> this is like a copper. These are all metal, um, which is different than some of the others uh, that were different than um, the primary product of the other. So these are all metal. Again, they have the uh, the blue coat framing, uh, the blue coat for uh, computer usage. Um, 
They have the Progressive, which is the no-line bifocal. Um, they are kind of a uh, copper, a dark copper. Um, I like them. Uh, I like the shape. Uh, they're just not gonna be my go-to. I will absolutely use these. So uh, what I like to do is buy glasses that are in multiple color schemes. So I have the ability to, for example, if I'm gonna wear something that is predominantly brown, uh, let's say I'm wearing khakis um, and brown shoes or something, well, I will try to match up my glasses to that. I will try not to wear my black glasses. I'll try to wear uh, some of my brown frame glasses. <clears throat> so these will be used probably in those scenarios when I'm trying to uh, mute and not be as aggressive or bold with my look. Uh, sometimes if I have uh, meetings at work that are with higher ups, I may try to mute uh, my glasses so they're not as wild, uh, just to be a little more tamed and uh, responsible. Um, but I do like these, I'm happy with them. Again, they're not gonna be my primaries, but I like them, they uh, look good and they will serve the purpose uh, necessary. Now let me show you my son glasses. So here you are with the sunglasses. These are all plastic. They are have uh, brown with gold plastic. Again, they have the plastic nose piece. As I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, with liking the plastic uh, nose piece, these are ones that have kind of the separate uh, nose piece. And these are the kind that I'm not as uh, big a fan of. One of the reasons I'm not as big a fan of that is that this is an additional point of failure. Um, <clears throat> so it has not uh, uncommon for me to have had to replace, contact the company, get new nose pieces and replace those on one to many different kinds of glasses, whether it be with Zenni, <coughs> excuse me, goggles for you, all of them I've had to do that. So um, that is uh, another reason why I'm not a fan of that. I like the plastic. So these are um, all plastic. Again, these were specifically designed to, I bought these with the intent that they were sunglasses, obviously. So I was wanting something that was a little more durable, not wanting something super fragile, uh, something that I can uh, wear these out and about. Uh, these are all plastic. Um, the, they have kind of the gold accent uh, here and underneath, um, and then the rest is brown. They fit great. They are the darkest color that was available. They are progressives again, which is the bifocals without the lines. I wanted a pair of sunglasses that um, gave me my full range of vision. Um, so uh, I this is the first fair pair of sunglasses that I've ever ordered that has that. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about the overall experience. So I have almost exclusively been using goggles for you for probably the last <clears throat> four or five years. Um, each time I order from them, I order one to many pairs of glasses. They're all progressives. <coughs> um, this is the first time I've, I've ordered the computer uh, with the blue cut that gives uh, help with the computer screen. Um, but the one of the reasons, excuse me, one of the reasons I like uh, Zenny is because they have great sales. So I ordered four pair of glasses. All of them were bifocals, uh, progressive, which means no line. Uh, three of them had the special uh, premium coating for usage with the computer. One of them had the tint for uh, sunglasses. And with the sales that were avail available to me at that time, all four of these pairs of glasses were um, roughly $160. So, um, if you remember my story at the intro, the whole time, the whole thing that got me into buying glasses online was uh, that I broke a pair of very expensive polo glasses that I'd gotten from my optometrist. And just to replace the frames alone was $250. So now I can buy a one to many pairs of glasses uh, for less than just those original frames were. And there, I think that they have stylish options. So uh, Goggles for You has great options available online. Um, the uh, due diligence I would encourage you to do is one, you need to go to your optometrist, get your eyes checked and get your prescription. Um, they will give you that and you can take that anywhere. Um, one variable that they may not give you is your pupillary distance. Pupil to pupil, <clears throat> they can give you two or they can give you one number. Um, you need that to get the glasses. Another thing that would be helpful that I would recommend you do, and this uh, is gonna save you a lot of heartache, 
is try on a pair of glasses at your optometrist and have them give you the dimensions of those glasses. For example, the width and the, the length of the arm. You want to get a pair of glasses that fits you ideally and then have them give you those variables. And then you can use those variables then when you go online because those are gonna be your two <clears throat> variables that you need to be able to order based on. So um, the first time I did it, I didn't really know that, but I was fortunate and made a, uh, made a right choice uh, of those um, <coughs> dimensions of the width and the arm length. I have over time kind of learned what my parameters are. Like I have like a lower limit and then I have an upper limit um, and the same with kind of the arm length so that I'm able to now go online and kind of sort their available options based on what I know will fit my face. So that's a variable. I don't even have to worry about that anymore. So that's my encouragement for you uh, is if you're looking to, to start ordering glasses online, one, there are a variety of companies out there. Um, Zenny Optical, Goggles for You, I've ordered from both of those. Zlol, uh, I've had great interest in those. There's another one, Fermu. Um, I think there's 39 glasses. Um, something like that. Um, there, find a, find the company that has the styles that most interest you is what I would say. Um, and then, once you know those variables, go online and see if they have. Uh, interesting frames based on your variables. Personally, right now, Goggles for You is consistently, in my opinion, the best value. <clears throat> now, they're not the most creative of all the lenses, but they have the best value. They have enough variety that I feel good about the selections that I make. Um, and uh, again, it, it was 30 days. I did not pay for um, uh, expedited shipping. Uh, I just let it go the route it was supposed to go. Um, it took probably three weeks for the actual construction of the glasses. And then once I received notification that they shipped, I, I received them in less than a week after that. <clears throat> so uh, very economical. If you wear glasses, it's a really a no brainer to go and get that information from your optometrist and then start investigating some of these online. Also, what you can do um, if you have a health spending account, an HSA with your health insurance, you can actually plan accordingly during the course of the year and you can use that to make purchases for glasses. So I'm a little more uh, I won't, I won't say frivolous, but I'm a little more willing to get a pair of glasses for something specific. For example, uh, we went to Disney a year ago and I bought a pair of transition lenses that, that would go dark in the sun and then would lighten up specifically for that trip. Very durable, they were plastic. I've worn them in some of the uh, videos, but I bought them specifically for that trip. I think they were like 35 or 50 bucks, had all the other features that I would want. Um, but I'm a little more, uh, um, a, a little more willing to make a purchase like that when I'm only spending 30, 40, 50 bucks for a pair of glasses versus spending five to 700 for a pair of glasses. So uh, there you go, four glasses from Goggles for You, just under 160 bucks, great sales uh, and great options available. Go check them out. Let me know what you think of buying glasses online uh, and specifically what you think of my new four, four new, new four, four new, four new pairs of glasses. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you next time.